it if there's someone who's sick, very sick. We see if it's not a miracle of now. I had a car accident last month on the Come, 18th. come, come. Let's see how you work with your crunch. Look, this one is worse now. You had a car accident. Eh? Yes. So you can't work without this. Yeah, I broke my pelvis here. Ah, this is broken now. This man, by blowing on him, is free, he will walk. Yeah. This is what I'm talking when I say we touch you. Look at this one now. Look at this one. Watch this one. Watch. Watch. Walk. Walk, brother. Ah! Hey! Hey! My God, oh! My God, oh! My God, oh! My God, oh! I'm giving you an example. It's what the Lord said, that when we touch you, something is happening. Look, I touch him there and blow on him. Brother, stand up. You saw how he was walking before? Brother, stop crying. Stop crying. How do you feel? I'm okay now. Eh? You're okay now. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Look here, brother. Can you walk now? Walk now because you could not walk. Follow him with the crunch. Follow him. He's walking. Uh. Arrest. So you get accident. Yes. You broke here. Yes. And what is that doctor was saying? They made an operation, then they, they put a steel. Yes. They put a steel. Yes. My but God. it couldn't work because I was still feeling the pain. You were feeling pains. <laughs> How do you feel now? I'm okay. You're okay now. <laughs> uh -uh. One of the brothers that was prayed for during the service by the man of God and he was using a crutch and he got instead healing and he'll be telling us what was happening to him. Sir, can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Elliot. I'm from here, Tembisa. During the service, the, woman, the man of God, Apostle J.B. Maganisa, called people who want to see a miracle happening in their life instantly and you were one of those people who came forward. Can you tell us what was happening to you? Uh, when, when he was praying for people, who, he said he just ministered that everyone who is sick just come. So when I went there, I had faith that I would be healed because I knew my my problem was not because of that situation. The devil wanted me to be in that situation, but I knew that only God can heal me. And can you tell us what had happened to you? I had an accident last month on the 18th. So when I had an accident, when I went to hospital, they said my pelvis is broken. So I was surprised that the accident was not that critical and I was the only one who was mostly injured. So I was telling myself that this thing is not alone, it's devil. So I said to myself, I need to see men of God and if he ministers to me, this problem will be out. So when they, were, they told you that uh, something has broken in you, did they do anything, perform a, an operation or gave you a tablet or gave you medication? Can you explain to us? They did an operation. After the operation, the pain did not finish because the pain I was suffering from, no one, I could not, it couldn't be removed by tablets. I was continually feeling the pain. But today after the man of God ministered to me, I just felt the heat passing all over my body and I, from that heat, I just feel myself, I'm now walking. Then I was happy that God has healed me. 
And when the man of God called you and you, you came forward and you explained to him what was happening to you, can you demonstrate to us how he prayed for you? What I remember is he just hold, he just hold my pelvis here. Yeah? After he hold me, I just felt the heat sensation and I fell down. After I woke up, I was now walking. And when he told you to stand up, to arise and walk, were you believing that since I was using uh, a crutch and the doctors told me that the pelvis is broken, were you believing that immediately after the command of the man of God saying that you must stand up and walk, were you believing that you were going to walk? I believed because my intention coming here, I knew once I entered this place, my problem will be resolved. And before he prayed for you, he prayed for others who were using crutches and they started walking. Did that build up your faith of saying, even myself, I am going to walk today? It did build my faith because I saw them walking. I saw these things happening. Then I said to myself, I'm also going to give my testimony today. And when you started walking, you started also to run, and you ended up crying. Can you tell us what came over you? Because as, from what I heard people saying and the doctors were saying, they said this thing is going to last for four months. So I was supposed to start walking from next year. But it was going to affect me and my family because... I'm the breadwinner for the family. So I said to myself, no, I need to seek the face of God and everything will be okay. And as today you received your healing and we believe that this healing it is permanent and it is an instant miracle that happened to you today. What are the words of encouragement would you like to give to others that are facing the same situation that you were facing because yours God has cancelled it? What is it that you would like to say to them? I would like to just advise all other people that these sicknesses that are brought into us, they are brought by devil. So what we need to do is to seek the face of God and everything will be okay. All the suffering will go. Amen. We thank you for joining us. I believe indeed God has done it for you, viewers all over the world. You can join us here again next Sunday and believe that distance is not a barrier. And as you witness others receiving their heart's desires, even God is doing the same unto you. This is Charis Missionary Church, Tembisa. Keep on watching Charis TV and stay blessed. Amen.